All right, I have the entire setup now, and I think I figured it out. So, let me start from step one. When we're uh, usually running the show, you guys know how that goes. We have the mic, and then we plug it in. Once it's plugged in, it goes over here. We have uh, it saying to left, right monitor, and then we go here. We have the main all the way up, and then we check here. Does it hear us? Hey, 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 yes, it does hear us. We check here too to see if it's going through the PA. It is going through the PA, so that means everyone can hear uh, what I'm saying on this on the microphone. Now, we, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure, can we get this same microphone to send a signal to that recording there while uh, being uh, not going through the PA also? So we want it to split it. Let's move to see where the uh, source is. So what I did here is I took the microphone, I put it into this XLR splitter, so now the input is being split into two outputs. These two outputs are going all the way over here. The blue one goes to PA. The white one is now going to just the recording. So now if we follow this all the way down, we're following the white one. The white one should be sending to left, right monitor only. It should, or not, sorry, rephrase. Should not be sending to left, right monitor. The, this one that's the PA one is sending to the left, right monitor, the blue one. The white one is saying to the recording, and the recording is gonna be on sub one and two, right here, so make sure that one's pressed down, and left right monitor is not pressed down. Now let's move all the way over here. So this main one uh, will, should always be at unity because this is what's controlling the volume for everything. Now here for sub one and two, this is how we're getting a signal now through uh, the main, to, uh, getting a signal to the recording mix here, so that way we can hear uh, what is being said through the microphone. Now, if we wanna see if we're getting a signal to the recording, what we wanna do is make sure this is unmuted. Let's mute this one just to make sure we're only focusing on this track. I'm going to speak on the microphone. Speak, speak, speak. Can anything hear me? Nope, nothing can hear me. Wait, yes, something can hear me. It is this right here. Because we have these from sub out, one and two, getting plugged into here and you can see it's lighting up because it can hear me talking. And if we go over here, it is recording me too. How awesome, great. So now we look over here and if we go back to the main output, monitor left, right, where it should be going out of the PA, can you hear me now? It can hear me. And now can it hear this? Yes. But thing is, is it picking up on here too? Well, let's see. Let me mute uh, track one or track two for the recording. Okay, the PA can still hear me clearly. It's lighting up there too. What about on the, on this? It's not lighting up. And if we look at the recording, look at the recording has now stopped. It cannot hear me, which is perfect. We don't want the PA to be uh, picking up what the, uh, we don't want the PA track to be going to the recording. We don't want the recording to be going to the PA. They should be separate. So when we're gonna be recording this entire thing, we're gonna have maybe up to two uh, vocal mics, just because that's how many XLR splitters we have. We have one and two. Um, and then when we have two vocal mics, they'll probably take up tracks one and two and three and four for the vocals. Then we have tracks five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, blah, blah, blah. blah. Anyway, we have all these tracks now, and these can be used for uh, the guitars, the bass, the drums, so for example, if I were to say tracks five is guitar, track six is bass, track seven is drums, we then scroll all the way down back to here and we make sure these tracks, like five, six, and seven, are on one and two. One and two, and make sure left, right is not pressed down. We wanna make sure those are up because we don't want a guitar, a bass, and a drum to go through the PA, that will sound horrible. So now we follow this and we make sure it's going to sub one and two, and if it's going, uh, and if the signal is being picked up here, which it should be, I clearly have nothing plugged into those right now, so it's not picking up a signal, but then we'll be able to see that recording going into here. So we'll hear the entire band. Now, there is one caveat to this entire thing. When you are recording, you will be able to use the effects um, so you can hear all the reverb and stuff going on, but it's only gonna be for the PAs. We cannot send all these FX should be down if it's going to the recording. Because if it's uh, if these are up, it immediately goes to the PA. There's no, no way around it. 
because these effects are internally built to always be sending out to main left right. So if you turn on this, despite it being on sub one and two, it's still gonna send out to left right if the FX are on. So you do not ever wanna have these effects on for the recording tracks, only for the PA tracks. And that's gonna be fine because we're not gonna hear any, uh, like let's say reverb on the vocals when we're recording. Uh, only the PA will be able to hear the uh, reverb, but we can always add reverb in uh, post. So that's uh, not a big issue. And also people don't use reverb as much as they need to. All right, um, but yeah, that's the entire setup. Um, just make sure you have your normal setup. Uh, you have the XLR cables going to um, here to go to the PAs. Then you wanna make sure that uh, this is left, right, normal as always. The only difference now is that you're splitting the signal so that way you can have a recording and a PA mix so the PA mix is here the recording mix is here always make sure that the effects is all the way down on the recording mix and always make sure the one two is pressed down and left right is not pressed down and then make sure uh, sub one and two are up and then make sure you're getting a signal through here for the for the recording and we are and that's about it Woohoo! oh and yeah make sure the you have these plugged into the, just the quarter inches sub one and two into here. All right, bye.